Hello friends, welcome back. And I hope you are ready for a little bit of thrifting. I had the opportunity to quickly drop into one of my most favorite flea markets in the entire area so far. And I don't get to go in there very often, but when I do, I always find goodies. And the store is just filled with beautiful vintage and antique things and unique items that you may not have ever seen before. Well, most of it, I've never seen it before. So it's always like a, a history lesson and just a pure joy. So let's just get into it. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you some of the goodies that I got. Who's ready to do a little bit of flea market shopping today? I almost said thrifting. I might do some thrif thrifting too, but I am at my favorite flea market and I don't get to go here very often. I have done a video previously at this location, but I haven't been here in long enough time that it's all gonna be completely new stuff. So let us go in and see what we can find. I'm excited. I don't have but my oldest child, so I'm gonna be like a kid in a candy store. Again, here we go. They still have that same bedroom set. <laughs> Ooh, I like these marble. Seventy dollars, and this one is ninety. Okay, tell me I'm not crazy. I totally want this door. The mirror for seventy nine dollars. This would make an absolutely fantastic mirror just for your house. Look at that.
I need all the monies. This is only 45. Surprise. It's a blessing and a curse. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's wooden. I wish it was metal. I like this one too. Ah! What do you think of that? I like that. Hold this. Look at this little sled. Oh, I like this box. Ooh. Ooh. Can you smell that cedar? Smell it. Why don't you like cedar? What's wrong with you? No, it doesn't. That is a cool box. I don't think I want to pay $28 though. It also smells like dust. I love this. I don't think I've ever seen a frame that has a swivel like that. This also smells like dust. Everything smells like dust. Look at this little speed phone. Probably. Well, it looks like it would be a treasure chest to a little girl. What? How do you close it? Oh, it's missing its other side. Jewel drops.
Another pair of salt shakers. Yes, but I can actually use those. You have four. Four. Where's my four? Look, four sets of salt shakers. I know of two. I know of four. Well, I know of several that got broken, so. Mrs. Butterworth. Look at that scary thing. Great that clown bottle. This is pretty. Mm. Ooh, it's an old spice. I would totally turn that into a candle. But not for $10. Oh, shoot. Sold. Pretty though. Oh my. This one's pretty too. Sold. No 
somebody would blame him for buying that. Look how pretty that is. That's in good condition, too. like the shelf which was actually a desk until they lost the front part that swivels out I actually really love it. Five dollars. 
I'm wondering if I could fix that piece that's broken on it. so many pieces of furniture in there that I seriously was like, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna sell a bunch of furniture and then I'm gonna buy this furniture and bring it here. That is my one favorite booth. There is one favorite booth there and whoever owns it does a spectacular job of finding really good quality pieces and he prices them or she very reasonably. I have a feeling it's a he because if it was a she, I don't think she could let things go like that. <laughs> I'm just speaking from personal experience because if that was my booth, um, we would be in serious trouble because there was like three pieces of furniture out of that booth that I wanted to bring home. Like go home, get the trailer, load it up and bring it home. If I'd had the money, I would have been tempted. <laughs> I mean, more than tempted. Like I would have been like, this is my birthday, Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, like every kind of holiday present that you can imagine. But I digress. I found a lot of great things. Um, not a lot, a few th great things. I found a few th things in the flea market and then I found some more good stuff in a couple of thrift stores. So the first thing that I picked up, I'm sure you're not surprised. I got this antique vintage i'm not sure how old it is it looks antique it's very old and it is a swiveling frame and i just think it's really cool i'm not sure why it swivels like the logics of it but i think it's beautiful it is wooden and chippy and just kind of delicate and so it's expensive <laughs> It was $15, but again, I've never seen this kind of thing before, and I think I needed it, so I got it. Okay, the next thing that I picked up, my husband said I didn't need them, but you know, then he went and bought a baseball that stays in a case and a plaque that goes on a wall, so I was like, I don't think you need those either. <laughs> so I got these four brass utensils and they were three dollars a piece so really not badly priced and you know how I love brass and copper and so I thought that when I get working on my kitchen or my pantry these would look beautiful up on the wall or even hanging from my island I thought that those would look really pretty the next thing I got and I could not help myself is these like I have a thing and you know pardon my fingernail polish my five-year-old did my nails so um these beautiful silver and they do open and I can use them so that was one thing like I was like I'm not gonna buy them if I can't use them because I already have a silver pair but those I cannot use so they are broken and don't open anymore so but they are Oneida silver so I just 
you know, ornate silver. It's going to be a thing in my house at some point here. The next thing I found towards the end was this really pretty silver ladle. Silver plate. Let's see, what does it say on the back? The Daily Banks and Biddle Co. Daily Banks and Biddle Co. And it was $1.95. Oh yeah, those um, salt and pepper shakers were $6. So it's not like terrible priced. I think that they were reasonably priced. And those little lantern ones, oh my gosh, I was so tempted by those too. If I'd have known anybody that needed salt and pepper shakers or had an affinity for things like that, like I do, I think I would have had to pick them up just because. Okay, and some of the things that I bought at a thrift store after the fact, this, um milk glass soap dish. I think it's got a little owl face in the middle of it, but I just thought it was so cute and it's gonna look really cute in my guest bathroom when I finish it. Do you know that I've been waiting for help to finish the electrical and plumbing in that bathroom this entire time? And I'm thinking that the help is never going to come, so I'm just going to have to pull out my big girl undies and get it done. Figure out a way to do it. The next thing that I found were some books. And um, I had no idea that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory had a sequel, but I found it. Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. And it has its original um, sleeve on it. So I thought that was really cool. This particular one is 1972. I thought that was neat. I have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, so now I have that one. This is from a set that I collect. Let's see. Gerard Discovery Books, that's what they are. And it is Amelia Earhart. And this is what they typically look like. I'm not sure if they come with dust jackets or not, but these, this is what all of the ones that I have look like. And I have quite a few. I'm not sure if I have Amelia Earhart, but like I said, there are collections that if I find them, especially cheap enough, I'm just going to pick them up regardless. Another one that is cute, and I have several of these by Seymour Fleischman. What's a ghost go going to do? And this is a, like a series. So I have several of these Gus the Ghost books. I thought that was cute and I have never seen this particular title. The Web in the Grass and this is illustrated by Roger DeVoisin which is another illustrator that you might have heard me mention before. This is about a spider and I love the illustrations in it and I heavily lean towards nature books so <laughs> And then this is just one that I already have, but you know, I have three girls. So now I think I have one for each of them. Angelina Ballerina. And I have, I think the whole set, but I have several doubles. And again, 50 cents. So I'm going to pick it up regardless. Okay, what's next? Okay, I'm going to, these I kind of hemmed and hawed over. I wasn't like super sold. But in the end, I was like, they're $3. And I know that I can put them up somewhere. It's It was in the vintage section, but I'm not like 100% certain they're vintage. Maybe they are. They are made out of like plaster. And then they have a little wire that come out the back to hang them with. But I just thought that they were really pretty. I may not keep them gold. I don't know yet. I'm. This is one of those things where I'm going to try to find a home for it and then see how I feel about it on the wall. And if I don't like it as is, then I will simply paint it and call it good. And there were two of those. Let me get the second one out here. I think they're exactly the same. So, and you know, I can put some pictures, put a picture in there. I think these would look really cute in my little daughter's bedroom or even on their door, maybe. If I can find a way to secure them right, put their pictures up on the door. I think that would be, or over their bed. I just think that they're for three dollars super cute the next thing oh yeah this i thought was really pretty it's not like super well made but it was three dollars and it has this blue glass and it's got little bubbles in the glass it's so cool and it does untwist so it does hold oil i'm going to clean it up and test it out and see if i can get it working but this was three dollars as well and I just thought that was so cute. Maybe in my boys' room, it's a little bit more masculine. Or, I don't know. I mean, it's so cute. It could fit pretty much anywhere. So, that was my small. Oh, yeah. One more thing out of that. I almost forgot because it was so kind of like random. But, again, I really loved the color of this string, the thread. 
Look how pretty that is. It was a dollar and it's the American Thread Co. Fall River, Massachusetts. So it's a vintage spool of thread for a dollar. And I just thought, you know, if if all I use this for is for photography, like staging, then it would be totally worth it because I think this color is gorgeous. And I just thought, I don't know, it's beautiful all on its own. It's a little piece of art. Okay, on to the big thing. This was a splurge. Um, yeah, a splurge. I wouldn't have typically bought something like this, but I have been looking for one for a long time, a long time. And this one was in good condition. I got a wicker laundry basket, guys, in great condition. Um, this was $20. And so I'm gonna stick this in my hallway and then we won't have a giant ugly pile of laundry just sitting there next to my washing machine. Because, you know, I have that really odd laundry closet that's just right in my hallway. And so we often have like a pile of laundry just sitting there. <laughs> and I bought this. It is cast iron on on wheels. I think it's a plant stand moving thing. And, you know, I have... I purchased some garden stock towers last year and I was stupid and didn't want to splurge for the bases that move them around and I think I might do that this year for my Valentine's present. I did last year I bought the garden stocks for my Mother's Day present and this year I might do the same thing with the tat with the, the little bases that move them around because I'm starting to realize how important it is to move them. But I found this and so I can put pretty much anything. I was think I was gonna use it for the laundry basket for the time being, like just use some zip ties and zip tie it to it for the moment, make it movable. But this was $7.37. So cast iron, totally safe to be outdoors. I felt like it was totally worth it. I love this basket. It's probably my favorite thing that I got. For sure. Um, besides this next thing, which was kind of insane. I don't typically look in the clothing section of thrift stores because in my area, we live in a pretty low income area. So the clothing that you find at thrift stores in my area are really not worth buying, in my opinion. Not for the prices that they want. You can buy brand new clothes off the racks on clearance for the same prices. So it's not worth it. But I happened to look in the clothing section this day and came across this lamp which is very interesting because I just recently had seen this lamp in two different larger influencers from She Holds Dearly, Sarah from She Holds Dearly, and Marion from Miss Mustard Seed. They had both used these lamps in some of their photography. And, and I looked at that lamp and I was like, um, Lord, I know that these lamps are super expensive, but I would love to have one someday because they're just so timeless looking and beautiful. So I just happened to look and there it was. This is um, Italian marble and these things can go for upwards of two to three, four hundred dollars online. Now I got this for three dollars and the one caveat is the base is a little bit broken and so I'm going to have to use some epoxy to fix it and then fill it in with some type of filler, some glass filler. But guys, for like a $150 lamp, I will totally make that repair and then I will put this somewhere and enjoy this for the rest of my life because I don't think I'm ever gonna part with it. I just think it's so beautiful, it's lovely. So that one was probably my favorite for sure. Like if I'm gonna pick a favorite, this would be it. I'm sure that there are other odds and ends that I have picked up in between now and the last thrift haul that I did, but I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I was really doing like little tiny shops here and there. So I would pick up like one or two things, like that lamp I picked up one, one thing. And then, you know, some of the other things I picked up here and there are already in use. Oh, I do remember one thing. I used it in some of my recent photography and a recent video. I picked up this plate for $3. And it is just fantastic. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful, and it looks fantastic in pictures, this beautiful gold and delicate porcelain or um, It says Atlas Fine China, China Wear, warranted 22 karat gold. So it's real gold on the plate. It's just beautiful. No, thank you so much guys for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you would like to be a part of the community here at Cabotering Wonderland. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.